Hey, right, welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good uh, rest of your week trading. Uh, did a little trading on Friday, not much. I uh, didn't do anything on Thursday. Uh, we're going to take a look at our portfolio and see where we stand on uh, some of our stocks. See what kind of day we had on Friday. Uh, we'll take a look at the market tonight and see what's going on with that as well. And kind of, we'll kind of talk about what we're going to do for the rest of the week. So let's go ahead and jump over to our portfolio and take a look at Okay, so we can see here that uh, we got a, about a half and a half day on Friday, it looks like. We had half of them green, half of them red. Uh, NKLA is trying to claw its way back here. Uh, there's a lot going on with that. Uh, if you look at the headlines, there's a lot of file, uh, lawsuits filed. Gotten some comments about, uh, you know, the scam that they're putting on and that kind of thing. So, uh my take on that is I'm not so sure that GM would make a deal with them uh, without doing some due diligence. So um, I'm not going to be too worried about it. Don't plan on holding it a long time. I'm kind of been trading that one anyway. So uh, hopefully we'll get uh, a little six percent pop, and we can get that uh, we can get that uh, sold. And then if it dra draws back down, we'll, we'll just keep playing it. But right now, uh, I'm not too much worried about all the talk. So uh, I'm just playing this one for some moves. And um, if you look at a lot of these stocks, you'll see all kinds of lawsuits. Tesla went through the same type stuff, too. You had shorts piling on and trying to drive it down. And, and uh, you just can't always go by what you hear. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to just play it and uh, hope they're wrong. And uh, in the meantime, you know, know that it is a risk out there that they're there could be something uncovered down the road that could play out, but uh, I'm not too concerned about it right now. All right, EXAS. EXAS is trying to claw its way back as well. Uh, we're looking to get that get that one up to about 88. That's where it was trading before, somewhere around there, uh, sometimes going over 90 uh, and as much as 100. So uh, we're going we're gonna to just hang on to that one. I like that one. We've got a good stake in that one. We've got a good stake in that NKLA as well. So we've got some good size stakes in both of those. HTBX, that's one of those coronavirus stocks. Uh, we're just playing for a pop there. Uh, it has been going up a little bit here lately, so we're going to keep an eye on that one. Uh, Novavax, Novavax uh, kind of following what I thought it might do. It pulled back again Friday, uh, got back as low as 104.78, but did close at 108. I did pick up some of that Friday at uh, 106. 27 so I did add to what I had for 10627 so I think the other the other shares I had were at about 117 so uh, we've got some at 106 and 117 so uh, we'll be trying to add to that position I'd like to have more shares than I've got now uh, the stakes not that large yet but uh, we're gonna work on that I've been selling them you know when I get when I get a good little gain out of it I'm gonna sell it um, just you know, to some degree, I may have some left, but uh, I'm just playing the ups and downs on this one right now. Um, they do have a conference uh, this week. This week, we'll talk about that on the close as well. Uh, XOM, XOM is uh, our, our oil stock. I'm surprised that one wasn't up because uh, oil was up pretty good last week. I think it did go up one uh, on Thursday though. I can't remember for sure, but I think we did have a little pop on that on Wednesday, uh, Thursday. Uh, X now. U.S. Steel's been doing really good here last few days, uh, so I like that. I like it's back up to 882. Uh, that one had gotten beaten down pretty hard and still got a ways to go. Um, it did get up to 925 the other day, so uh, that's good to see. Got a pulse. Uh, ACB, again, reverse split uh, on that one, so it's kind of down in no man's land right now and not really worth talking about. But we'll keep it on there just in case it pops up one day, but... Uh, uh, I think those are kind of, uh, those pot stocks or cannabis stocks are kind of out of favor and, you know, they've been out of favor for about a year now. So, all right. So, uh, that's the portfolio. Let's talk about what we're going to do, uh, this week. Um, this week we're going to be looking for some good buys on that Novavax if it pulls back any further. Uh, did want to talk about that a little bit. It does have a conference uh, this Wednesday, I think it's the 23rd when it's going to uh, be. I, I don't, I'm not sure what time of day, uh, but it is having one of those conferences where it does the presentation. 
And as we saw the previous week where they had gone up three days in a row, while I had one of those every day, it went up. So look for that one maybe to turn up a little bit. It might get a little uh, wind behind its sails on Monday or Tuesday. And then uh, uh, depending on how the conference goes, it may, may run through Wednesday. And then uh, if there's no real big new news, uh, I don't expect this to hold any kind of big games, but take. You never know. It may be uh, something that just keeps it going. Who knows uh, on the news. But I'm going to be watching that one. I'm going to try to add to it Monday. Could possibly sell the ones I bought for 106. I think we're up a little bit on those already. Uh, so we'll be looking for that. Um, do want to tell you that we are at about uh, cash. We're at 42% cash. And we're sitting real nice at the cash level. Uh, we did go ahead of our... Uh, we were behind the three markets, uh, S&P, Dow, and the, uh, and the NASDAQ. The only one we were really behind on it was the NASDAQ, and we have uh, passed it now by a long shot. So uh, we're doing way better than the markets. We're doing way better than the banks, the CDs, all those things. So we're, uh, we're having a good year, uh, thanks to some of Novavax. And even though uh, uh, Novavax took a big hit, mid-year there uh not too long ago here we did we did make some of that back here recently so that's good we we still got a ways to go to uh make some of that back that we pulled back on but uh, i think we can do that and the pocketing money of everything else we've been doing that's been a real good year so uh, uh i hope you're i hope you're following some of these trades if not that's fine that's your own strategy is what you want to do anyway uh but uh they have been some pretty good trades so far this year. Uh, the market's been pretty good. I mean, I don't know how you can't make money this year. Uh, it's been a good year. Th these are easy years to make money. It's the, it's the pullbacks that get you. Uh, if you can make money in one of those years where the markets are down, which, of course, the markets aren't up too high. Uh, so we're doing really good considering. Uh, now, we're going to watch for this, any kind of pullback towards the election as well. We've got the Supreme Court. Uh, coming into play now as well with the news this weekend. Uh, so we're going to see how that affects everything. But uh, uh, maybe it'll take their mind off the virus for a little while. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Just watch the markets. It looks like it's uh, it's uh, going to be a flat day. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick before we close. Uh, go back over there to that. Yeah, it looks like the futures are up. Let me refresh this real quick. Um, Futures were up uh, just barely, though. It looks like it's kind of flat, so uh, nothing to get excited about there. Uh, we'll just watch tomorrow and uh, see how things go. Uh, so I appreciate you watching. Uh, real important, if you like these videos, don't forget to click the like button and uh, subscribe uh, so you get the notifications on the videos as well. Uh, really appreciate you watching them trying to push those subscribers up to 100. Uh, if you get the subscribers up to 100, you can actually uh, uh, set up a link to your videos, uh, a, a custom link. So uh, maybe we can get up to that subscriber level of 100. We're sitting around 85 now. So I appreciate you, 85 that are subscribed. Keep on watching. Tell your friends about the channel. And uh, hope you have a great day of trading tomorrow and the rest of this week. We'll get back on here probably... Uh, sometime uh, Wednesday and uh, talk about where we're at to, in midweek. All right. Have a great uh, few days of trading. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Thanks. Bye.